The enemy Wildcats took on the Tiffin Dragons on a pleasant Saturday afternoon at the Superior Dome. In the first half, with 5.43 remaining, senior defensive back Junior Mitchell made an interception for a 49-yard touchdown to make it 14-0 Cats. Well, once I seen the route, we've been working on it all week. So once I seen that route, I just decided I had to react. And once I got the ball in my hand, I said, well, no one's going to stop me. So I had to make sure I got in the end zone. The Wildcats continue its offensive dominance in the second quarter as quarterback Carter Kopach completes a pass to Christian Jesse for 16 yards at the Tiffin one-yard line, which would set up a one-yard touchdown by tight end Brent Parrott to put Northern up 21-zip. With the Dragons in possession deep in the Wildcat territory at the three-yard line, defensive back Morgan Stins would cover a Tiffin fumble for a 97-yard touchdown return, expanding the Wildcat lead to 35-0. Tiffin would get on the board at the end of the quarter as Seth Pecco kicked a 16-yard field goal to make it 35-3. The Wildcats would go into the locker room leading by 32 points. From then on in the second half, it was nothing but the Wildcats show as Brendan Parson recorded first of his two interceptions of the game. Wide receiver Nick Alwey put the icing on the cake on the Dragons as he ran for four yards to the end zone for a touchdown to help the Wildcats snap a five-game losing streak 59-3. Well, it's a game we had to win today. We knew we were a better football team on paper, but you need to come out and play it that way, and you need to play well, and you need to do things that you expect to do and not just win the game. But if you're a better football team, you need to play that way, and that's what we did well today. Uh, going off my instincts and what Coach already taught us all week, um, they like to run crossing routes and deep seam routes, and I just played and played on the ball and made interceptions. With the win, the Wildcats snap a five-game losing streak as they play Saginaw Valley State on the road and Michigan Tech here at the Dome for Senior Day. For Public Eye News, I'm Stanley Jefferson.